So uh, Geo and Chris here again um, with the API video series. Uh, we want to uh, we wanted to keep going with the authentications. However, for the following authentication methods, we're gonna need to use parameters. So we've decided to show you how parameters work before we uh, proceed with the other authentication methods. So, uh, Krish, yeah, go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing okay. Okay, so in this particular video, we are gonna talk about chaining API calls and talk a little bit about parameters to show how parameters gets invoked in a typical bubble call, in a typical bubble implementation. So that said, we are gonna to stick to the same use case scenario, which is Chuck Norris jokes. However, in this video, we would look at, I'll take a step back. In the previous video, we printed random jokes from the implementation. In this video, we would look at the different categories that's present and we would want the user to select a particular category and expect a joke of the same category to show up. So that's the use case. That said, uh, yes, let's go ahead and create a new call. Let's give it a nice name, get categories maybe. Okay, now let's go to the documentation. So the third endpoint is the one. Yes, that's the one. If you could copy the endpoint, yeah, and that's a get endpoint too. And this is the one which is will retrieve the different categories of jokes. Let's put that in there. Okay. And I guess that's it, right? That's pretty much it. Let's hit initialize call. So yep. it's Let's see. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now I'll head to the design and just make sure it works. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a drop down. In this case, you can obviously do something else if you wish, but. So we're gonna have dynamic choices, type of choice is gonna be text, and source is going to be get data from, from external API, get categories, uh, and that's it. And default value is going to be get categories first item. So whatever list is gonna be returned from the API, we're gonna display just the first one, first item. Uh, I think uh, this is it. I'm just gonna give it a nice name. Drop down, drop down uh, categories. I'm gonna preview it. Yeah, animal, career, celebrity, dev. So we get the categories. Uh, what's next, Chris? Excellent. Okay, so let's head over to this page. Okay, so now that we have the categories, we would request the user to select a category from the drop down and expect the API to return a particular or the associated joke. Now to do that, we would create another API call. So add another one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is the endpoint that we would be using. So you could copy that off. Krish, so maybe i just went a little bit like quicker how would i know how would i know that i need this uh endpoint to okay. filter the data good so if you look at the next api endpoint which says that retrieve a list of available categories so okay. and that is something we already did we listed the available categories and if you look at the one prior to it the one that you were trying to highlight it says that retrieve a random Chuck Norris joke for a given category, which essentially means that I'll have to supply the category value somehow. Hmm. And if you pay note, pay attention to the endpoint, it has a question mark followed by category equals, you know, some string. That indicates the API is, is taking a parameter in the URL. The question mark followed by a key value pair indicates a parameter. So that is your indication and an answer to your question. Whenever you see something like this, you should think that you should probably look at adding a parameter to your API implementation or rather API calls. Krish, I have one question. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. let's go through it and then I'll, I'll get back to this question later on. Sure. So I'm gonna have to add another call. It's gonna be filtered jokes. 
Okay. It's still data, you could... it's still JSON. Absolutely. Okay, so viewers pay attention to this. This is how we would do this particular implementation. Uh, Gyo, I want you to delete everything that is there till random, including the question mark. Okay, let's add a parameter. Now, this is specifically important because this is how uh, parameter invocations happen in Bubble. There are probably other ways, but this seems pretty easy to me, and 99% of the time it works. So, uh, in the key, let's put in the parameter name. And the parameter name is category from what we figured out by looking at the documentation. The value. The value can be anything from the list uh, that we printed a while ago. Animal for that matter. Okay. And, uh, Gyo, I want you to uncheck private. Okay. Okay. Are we really, at this, at this point of time, we really do not know what the private uh, checkbox does. But what we figured out is if you have private checked, it, it doesn't work. So for this implementation, let's go ahead and hit the initialize call. And this will populate the database with the initial data set. You could save this. And I think now I can go and create the design. Correct. Now, OK. So this is an interesting piece of viewers. Please pay attention to what Gyo does. This is exactly how it needs to be done to retrieve the value of that KDB. All right, so as a type of content, I'm going to say it's filtered joke. And I'm going to get the data from external API, which is Chuck Norris joke, filtered jokes. And as a parameter, uh, I'm going to, instead of just having this static data, I'm going to insert the dynamic data, which is going to be the value of this drop down field. And I'm going to choose drop down categories value. So whenever this changes, the filter will be applied to this group. So this being done, I'm just going to have to move over to visual elements, get the text and say parent groups, filter jokes, value. And I'm just going to say text filtered joke. And this is completely custom guys. Like this is how I like doing it. You don't have to name it just like I do. All right. So we've got the animal and the joke is Chuck Norris once rode the bull and nine months later it had a cough. <laughs> and if we change it to fashion, you're going to see the fashion joke. If I change it to science, you're going to see the science joke. All right. I think um, that's it, right? For this video. Yep, that's pretty much it. I think I think if this particular implementation is understood well, any parameter could be handled. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to include mine and Krish's uh, Twitter uh, handles. So please give us a follow. And also like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.